2K Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the 3M Open is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this player starts their round in the lead. What's the game plan for them today? Well, they've, they've got the lead and there is a significant chasing pack so they can't get too wrapped up in what's going on behind them. They've got to kind of keep their nose out front. They've got to keep pushing along and play the golf course. Don't think about who's chasing you down. Just think about playing the golf course. But if you do find themselves falling back a little bit, then they need to go ahead and start making a, a little bit different push, maybe come up with a different game plan. But right now, out in front, they just kind of have to play the golf course right now and, and keep that in their sights. Well, that's enough from me. It's time to pull the trigger. Let's get down to the course. From around 140 yards here. Wind coming right at him. Going with the pitching wedge here. That's nicely done. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Looking really good. That was a gallant attempt. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. He's currently sitting in first place. Time to tee off at the second. This is a tee shot that I believe must be challenged. You must take driver out to hit it over that bunker down the right hand side to leave yourself with as short a second shot as you can possibly get. This green can cause all kinds of problems as it pitches from left to right down towards the water. It's a birdie opportunity if you're bold enough to take on the tee shot. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Now this wind really starting to get up. That was well managed. Let's go to John Rahm. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. And he's down there. You got a read? Yeah, he's been prowling around this one. It's 11 foot out. Tracking. Beautiful shot. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. It's time to begin this powerful hole. That one's right out of the top drawer. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Wind is going straight at his back. Yeah, that one will play. Uh, 14 footer. This for back-to-back -back birdies. This one's looking good. Well, what a start. This is impressive. Just the start they were looking for, Luke. 
will now move over to John Rahm. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. John Rahm getting ready for his next shot. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. And this is why you've got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Going with the seven. Not a bad play, that one. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. What's in front of them, Henny? This one's 13 feet from the cup. Just didn't drop. A par part of weights. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Teeing off here at the fifth. Massive, massive fairway here at the fifth. So tee it high, let it fly. Second shot straight back up the hill to a green that's fairly flat with a little bit more movement in the back portion of it. It's a cool design. Henny, what have they got in front of them here? Yeah, the breeze ruffling their shirt, hitting their back. It's going to be tough to control the distance here. Opting for the 9-iron. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Ooh, nice looking putt. Well done. Take the birdie. Unreal display this week with that wand. Now five shots up after that hole. This hole is a par five. Luke, this player coming off a of birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. Good shot there, Beamer. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. You like that, didn't you? Getting ready to play their third. Breeze straight into him. That should set up another chance. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Let's go to John Rahm. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? This putt from around 18 feet. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. 
Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. And coming off the booty, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Seventh hole at the Twin Cities, risk versus reward. Do you feel brave? Driver will get you glory, but an iron will keep you safe off the tee. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? This one will run uphill. This is a good chance. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. This is a really cool design long part of three. As you can see, the green is not very deep. It is wide, and there's lots of pin placements to use on this green. Probably my favorite hole on the golf course, Luke. That's not the shot they're after. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. We'll now move over to John Rahm. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. A bit wild on approach there. Looking for the draw, but not finding it. Let's see if we can get this one up and down for par. Oh, that had eyes for it. Lovely shot. Nothing like it. Good stuff. And let's have another look at that one. Oh, yeah, look at those hands. What a chip shot. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. This is fraught with danger everywhere. Out to the right, out of bounds, comes into play quickly. If you miss it over to the left, there's waste area that you want no part of. Find the fairway and the second shot demands you keep it left of that water. Anywhere on the green on the left side is a fantastic play. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Playing from around 190 yards out. Went straight down. Going with the five iron here. Yeah, nicely played. Let's go to John Rahm. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? That is hunting for the hole. That's a lovely speed on that part. So close to the hole. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. He has about 14 feet to the hole. Oh, so close. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. That gets the job done. 
Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the 10th. No real reason to take out driver here and give it a whirl, Luke. Just a fairway metal down the left-hand side. Left of that fairway bunker there. Should set up a very simple and straightforward wedge shot. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Not bad. There's part of about six feet coming up. Good looking putt. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. Now seven strokes up after that hole. We've arrived at a par four hole. Straight back uphill as well, Luke. You don't want to be in that fairway bunker on the right-hand side, so bail out just a little bit to the left. Second shot, straight back up the hill to a green that is very deep. Quality shot, that one. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say. That should find the surface. Oh, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Here's John Rahm. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. OK, time to return to the action. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one. Has to put this one downhill. Just missed. Putting for par. Now that's got to be frustrating. Hit such a great approach shot in, but wasn't able to convert. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Well, this could alter the line of the shot. Handy effort, that one. Second shot here on the 12th. That dog will hunt. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. John Rahm watched that one all the way. Great approach shot. This player is definitely upping the pressure in this rivalry. This putt right on 10 feet, a good one to make. Go on, get in the hole. And that's eight birdies today. Our current leader is enjoying a seven stroke advantage. Maybe feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. 
opting for the hybrid, I think. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. Wow, what a shot. We'll now move over to John Rahm. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Ah, uh, great shot. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? A birdie putt awaits. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Ooh. And this one is for his par. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. Teeing off now on the 14th hole. And after a part of the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Now this one looks to be heading down the runway. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. Well, this one's right at the pin. <laughs> Terrific shot and a chance for Birdie coming up here at the 14th. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. It's got a chance. That's a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Take some pride in that one. Let's go to John Rahm. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Fairly simple and straightforward tee shot here as the fairway pitches in from both the right and left hand sides. So hitting the fairway shouldn't be much of a problem. From there, the second shot goes straight back up the hill to a green that's protected by bunkers on the left hand side. That was wonderfully done. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. This is a ball striking clinic. Yet another green in reg here. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. Seven feet to the cup. Looking for another birdie here. On a nice line. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. Water right, some bunkers left, but as you said, driver not necessary on the short par four. Playing from 110 yards out. Puff of wind blowing right to left. Going with the nine iron, I think.
Outstanding approach shot. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Yes, they've made it. We'll now move over to John Rahm. He's happy, just came off a birdie. And as John Rahm steadies himself over the ball. Wow, that almost went in the hole. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Now, current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Going with the hybrid. That's a good looking shot there. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Get in the hole. Ooh, right by the hole. A par putt on the table. You've finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. Still in the lead now after that hole. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. Oh, well played. <laughs> Opting for the three wood. Woo, back there, horsey. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Was on a good line. Almost snatched the eagle there. That would have been huge. And that round is now in the books.